Here in Westport and the wind has just been relentless all day long. We're here at the state park right after uh, off the coast. That high wind advisory in effect for most of the afternoon winds gusting between 25 to 30 miles an hour. Some gusts as high as 50 reported and to get the best perspective. Look at this jetty and you see those white caps hitting against it. Surf reports putting the swells at 10 to 15 feet high at, at one point the waves hitting this jetty so hard they were actually crossing onto the other side a lot of people who are familiar with this area knew that today was something special and came to check it out for themselves at least 20 feet higher than usual 20 feet yeah uh would you like to be out there swimming or no no <laughs> To see a storm of this magnitude, uh, you know, gale force winds of 40 miles an hour, plus the tides, plus the swells that are going on, might not see it again for another 20 years. So it's absolutely worth the long drive to come down and check it out. Again, the surf report uh, noting 10 to 15 foot waves. Once you get past the white caps, I'm told not a good day to be surfing though, because the uh, wind is coming offshore and it's nice and choppy, not those uh, glassy curls that you'd want to see if you were out there surfing. That high wind advisory, uh, it did cause some troubles overnight and during the day. The local power company here reporting more than 9,000 people impacted by power outages. They've been out for the majority of the day. Most of those people back online though. So a uh, good day to stay inside if you're on the coast. How about that? We'll send it back to you. All right, Sebastian Robertson reporting for us live from Westport. Sebastian, thank you.